Hello, this is numbers lesson 13. In, in this, I will discuss the basics of HCF and LCM. Now, what is LCM? LCL, LCM full form is least common multiple. For example, I will take two numbers 12 and 18. First, I will find the common multiple of 12 and 18. So, multiple of 12 would be 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72 and so on. Multiple of 18 will be 18, 36, 54, 72 and so on. Now we are talking about the common multiples. You can see that 72 is a common multiple of both 12 as well as 18. Even 36 is a common multiple of both. But we are interested in the least common multiple. So least common multiple you can see that the LCM is equal to 36. So that is the basic uh, definition of LCM that is least common multiple. So least common multiple of 12 and 18 is 36. The simple way to understand the LCM is that it is the smallest natural number, smallest natural number divisible by divisible by both 12 and 18. That will be the LCM. Both 12 and 18. Smallest natural number that is completely divisible by both 12 and 18. That will be the LCM of 12 and 18. And we know that our answer is 36. Next is ways to calculate LCM. In how many ways we can calculate the LCM of a number? Uh, well, there is one method that we learned in school. For example, 12 and 18, I want to calculate the LCM. First, this is 2, 6, 12, 2, 9, 18. And then it will go by 3, 3, 2, 6, 3, 3, 9. Then we multiply all of this 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 and our answer is LCM is equal to how much? 36. But this is the method that we won't use because this is a very lengthy method. So we won't use this method in order to calculate the LCM. The method that we will use are basically two methods. One is a prime factorization method. Prime factorization method and other is a logical method that I will discuss and that we will use the most logical way. First let me discuss the prime factorization method. Uh, make the prime factorization of 12. 12 is 4 into 3. Can I say this is 2 square into 3 power 1. You must be able to make this prime factorization fast. 18 is 2 into 9. Can I say this is 2 power 1, 3 square. Now our LCM. LCM is the smallest number I told you divisible by both 12 and 18. So, for the LCM to be divisible by 12, the power of 2 in LCM should be 2 square because then only it is divisible by 2 power 1 as well as 2 power 2. And the power of 3 in LCM should be also 2. Now, you can see that this LCM is divisible by both 12 as well as 18. So, this is the LCM and the answer is 36. Now, the logical method is the a method that we will use to calculate the LCM. This is the fastest way to calculate the LCM. Just we have to write the two numbers 12 and 18. Now our LCM as I told you remember the basic definition of LCM. LCM should be divisible by both 12 and as well as 18. So my LCM should be at least 18 because to be divisible by 18 number should be at least 18. So LCM will be at least 18. I will write in a bit prime numbers form 2 into 9. Because LCM is the number divisible by both 12 and 18. So LCM should be at least 18. Though if this is the LCM right now, this is divisible by only 18. This my LCM is divisible by 18. I have put a tick mark. Now my LCM should be divisible by 12. To be divisible by 12, 12 is what? This is 4 into 3. Now right now my LCM, this is divisible by 3. Because 9 is there, this will cancel by 3. But my LCM is not divisible by 4. So in order to be my LCM divisible by 4, I should multiply this by 2. Now my LCM is divisible by 4 and as well as 3. So this will be divisible by 12. So this is the LCM, this is divisible by both 12 and 18. So answer is 36. This is the best way to calculate the LCM and we will use that method. I will give you more examples so that this concept should be clear to you. Now, for example, I want to calculate the LCM of 36, 64 and 120. First, I will show you the prime factorization method so that you must know how to calculate with the prime factorization method. PF prime factorization method. So 36 is 4 into 9. You must be able to break the number 
fast in terms of prime number this is 2 square into 3 square now 64 is what this is 2 power 6 straight away you can 2 power 6 into 3 power 0 if you want to write otherwise you can leave it as it is 120 this is uh, 8 into 3 into 5 can I say that this is equal to 2 cube into 3 power 1 into 5 power 1 now my LCM should be divisible by all the three it is the smallest number LCM that should be divisible by 64 36 and 120 so I will write the LCM in the powers of 2 3 and 5 so in in LCM the power of 2 must be at least 2 power 6 then only it will be it will be divisible by 64 and also in LCM the power of 3 must be 2 then only it will be divisible by 36 and the power of 5 must be at least 1 now this is the LCM now I will uh, let you know how to calculate the LCM the most logical and the fastest way now LCM should be divisible by 120 so at least the LCM should be 120 so 120 is what this is 3 into 8 into 5 now this is the LCM 3 into 8 into 5 this is 120 the, now my LCM is only divisible by 120 so I put a tick mark LCM is divisible by 120 now my LCM should be divisible by 64 to be divisible by 64 my LCM should cut by 64 this should completely divide now 64 is what 8 into 8 I have only one 8 here so I will put one more 8 now my LCM is divisible by 64 because it will cancel down with 64 how so I am just showing you here this is 3 into 8 into 5 into 8 if you divide this by 64 that is 8 into 8 this will can cancel out and it will be completely divisible so that is what I want to say that for LCM to be divisible by 64 it should have 2 8 earlier I had 1 8 so I have multiplied with 1 8 so now my LCM is divisible by 64 now next is my LCM should be divisible by 36 now 36 is what this is 4 into 9 36 is made of 4 into 9 now my LCM is divisible by 4 because I have already 2 8 this is divisible by 4 but my LCM is not divisible by 9 it is only divisible by 3 9 for 9 I need 2 3 I have only 1 3 so I will multiply this by 3 now my LCM you can see that this is divisible by 9 as well as 4 so this is all divisible by 36 now this is the final LCM so that was 120 into 24 this you will multiply now 120 into 24 120 into 12 is 1440 double office this is 2880 will be your final answer now one more example I want to discuss with you so that your speed must be fast in order to calculate the LCM for example I want to calculate the LCM of 15, 24, 60 and 84 now what is the basic definition of LCM LCM should be divisible by all of the given numbers so my LCM should be at least 84 so that it is divisible by 84 so 84 is what 12 into 7 you can say it is 4 into 3 into 7 you must be able to write the largest number in the prime factors form this is now my LCM is divisible by 84 now LCM should also be divisible by 60 now 60 is what this can I say 4 3 is a 12 5 is a 60 so to be divisible by, by 60 my LCM should be divisible by 4 and 3 and 5 so I have I have 4 I have 3 but I don't have 5 so I will add 5 I will multiply by 5 now my LCM is divisible by 60 because 4 3 and 5 will get cancelled out my LCM is now divisible by 60 now what is 24 LCM should be divisible by 24 not 24 is but this is 8 into 3 now I have 3 I have 4 but I don't have 8 now I need 8 3 I already have so 4 into 2 now this is 4 into 2 becomes 8 so 8 into 3 I have so my LCM is now divisible by 24 now to be divisible by 15 LCM should be divisible by 3 and 5 it should get cancelled out with 3 and 5 I already have 3 and 5 so this is the LCM now that was 4 3 is a 12 12 5 is a 60 2 is a 120 into 7 this 840 will be your answer next is the HCF HCF stands for highest common factor or you can say that maximum common factor now for example I will take the same two numbers 12 and 18 there are three ways to calculate LCM first method is the school method 12 and 18 can I say that this is this is 2 
टू सिक्स जा ट्वेल्व टू नाइन जा एटीन नाउ वी नीड ए कॉमन डिवाइजर दैट शुड डिवाइड ऑल द गिवन नंबर्स नाउ कॉमन डिवाइजर इज थ्री नाउ थ्री टू जा सिक्स थ्री थ्री जा नाइन नाउ आई डोंट हैव एनी कॉमन डिवाइजर विच डिवाइड्स बोथ टू एंड थ्री सो आई विल लीव इट देयर आई विल मल्टीप्लाइज दीज टू नंबर्स सो एच सी एफ दैट इज हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर फॉर ट्वेल्व एंड एटी वुड बी टू इन टू थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट मैथड दैट वी कैन यूज इन जनरली वी विल यूज दिस मैथड दिस इजी मैथड टू सॉल्व बट समाइम नंबर्स आर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो यू हैव टू यूज द अदर वे प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मैथड कैन ऑलवेज बी हेल्पफुल इफ द नंबर्स आर सिंपल सो ट्वेल्व दिस इज फोर इंटू थ्री नाउ वट इज फोर दिस इज टू स्क्वेयर इंटू थ्री पावर वन एटीन इज टू इंटू नाइन कैन एस दिस इज टू पावर वन इंटू थ्री स्क्वेयर नाउ वट इज अ कॉमन फैक्टर और एच सी एफ एच सी एफ यू कैन से दैट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू नाउ टू पावर वन इज कॉमन इन दिस एंड थ्री पावर वन इज कॉमन सो एस सी विल बी टू पावर वन इंटू थ्री पावर वन दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्वेल्व एंड एटीन आई विल टेक द सेम नंबर नाउ फर्स्ट दिस इज ट्वेल्व वन जार ट्वेल्व सिक्स नाउ दिस रिमाइंडर विल बिकम द डिवाइजर एंड दिस ट्वेल्व विल कम हेयर सिक्स टू जार ट्वेल्व एंड दिस इज डन सो लास्ट डिवाइजर सम वे डाउन द लाइन द डिविजन विल कंप्लीट एंड योर लास्ट डिवाइजर योर लास्ट डिवाइजर वुड बी इक्वल टू एच सी एफ एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो द एच सी एफ ऑफ ट्वेल्व एंड एटीन इज सिक्स सो दीज आर द थ्री वेज टू कैलकुलेट द एल सी एम ऑल ऑफ एनी वन ऑफ दिस कैन बी यूज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर बट इन जनरली फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड मैथड आर प्रेफरेबली यूज थर्ड मैथड इज यूज वेन द नंबर्स आर डिफिकल्ट एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू फाइंड द कॉमन डिवाइजर ईजिली नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एस सी एफ ओ वन थर्टी सिक्स टू जीरो फोर एंड थ्री फोर्टी नाउ द दीज नंबर आर सिंपल सो आई कैन यूज द स्कूल मैथड थ्री फोर्टी I will take the common divisor. Now you can see that all are divisible by four. This is four threes are twelve. Four fours are sixteen. This is four uh, five. This is one. This is four eights are thirty two and five. Now you can see that all are multiple of seven seventeen. Seventeen twos are thirty four. Seventeen three seventeen five. Now there is no more common number that divides two three and five. All of them. so i will end here so 4 into 17 so let's say will be 4 into 17 that is 68 will be my highest common factor of 136204 and 340 you can also use the prime factorization method i th i am giving you this as a homework you can do it answer will be still same that is 68 will be your hcf now i will show you how to calculate this kind of question with the division method you can choose any two numbers 136 and 204 so i'm choosing 204 and 136 now 136 ones are 136 this is 40 44 14 6 this is 8 9 3 is 6 this is 68 left now this is 136 now 68 ones are 68 this is 8 this is 12 6 this is 6 68 and 68 ones are 68. So the SCF will be 68. Now you can see that HCF of 136 and 204 is 68. Now you can see that HCF of 136, 204 and 340 that we need to calculate. We have calculated SCF of 136 and 204 is 68. It means the maximum common between these two numbers is 68. Now I will check. Whether sixty eight is common between sixty eight and three forty? Now I'll check. Now sixty eight. Now again I will calculate the HCF of sixty eight and three forty. Now three forty, sixty eight. You straight away will go by five. So final HCF is equal to sixty eight, and that will be your final answer. Next concept very important. LCM of two numbers into HCF of two numbers is always equal to product of two numbers, and this is only true for two numbers. So can I say LCM of twelve and fifteen? Into HCF of twelve and fifteen must always be equal to twelve into fifteen. Now LCM of twelve and fifteen is sixty. HCF is you can see this is three. This is equal to one eighty. So both are equal. Now next two lines are very important. 
LCM is always a multiple of HCF. You can see that 60 is a multiple of HCF that is 3 for 12 and 15. 60 comes in the table of 3. Multiple of uh, 3 miss in the table of 3. And HCF 3 is always a factor of LCM that is 60. So 3 is a factor of 60 and 60 is a multiple of 3. So that is very important concept. So that was all about this lesson. In next lesson I will continue with more on HCF and LCM.